Hi, I'm Koel Ghosh, Director and Head of Business Development, Asia Index Private Limited. I'm here to talk to you a bit about what an index is and how it works. I'm going to try and simplify the concept. Okay, let's start by drawing an analogy with gift giving and indexing. Now you'll be wondering how that is possible. Well, it's fairly simple. Say you would like to give chocolate hampers to friends and family and you want to create an assorted mix. One option is that you keep this mix for all the gifts, but it comes down to individual preferences. And say you know that uncle of yours has an allergy to say mint and another hates chocolates with nuts. In that case, you decide to change the mix. Now, if we compare this to an index, we can replace the chocolate mix with stocks. An index is basically a list or basket of securities like stocks, bonds, or other financial instruments. An index is used to enable everyone to follow the market movements in real time. It can be used to provide benchmarks or standards for evaluating performance. It serves as the basis of cost-efficient investment products. And finally, it supports research and analysis of market behavior. An index has a methodology which comprises of a set of rules that define which stocks will form a part of the index. Hence, different indices are constructed to address different requirements, for example, geography or sector, theme or strategy. The number and variety of indices is enormous, yet each provides a unique picture of the market it tracks. Indices are used actively in portfolio construction. Indices provide portfolio managers and investors a measure to peg their portfolios to the market or an ideal standard, hence providing them a platform to compare their returns. Now that you know more about what an index is, watch the next in series to get a better understanding of index investing. Thanks for listening and for more information, log on to www.asiaindex.com.